Garage. This is NAM 2010 and I'm at the SM Pro Audio boot presenting our latest and greatest products. You may, may know the DI dock. It's a very popular docking station with balanced XLR outputs, with transformer isolation and ground lift, which um, we've been selling very well throughout the world. This is the DI dock live. The main difference is, I'll give you actually the solution, the problem first and then the solution. The problem is with iPods that a lot of people are running currently. They run a click track on one side of the iPod and the music on the other side of the iPod on the iPhone. And then they can't mix between them on the headphones. So the DI Dock Live comes to the rescue. You can select which output, whether both left or right go to the front of house. And then for the headphones, you can actually mix between the left and right levels, right in the middle, to get a nice mix between the click and the music in your own ears, without affecting the output to the front of house. You also have built in a mixer with an extra stereo input, auxiliary input, as well as a remote control. Now the remote control runs into the serial port of the, uh, the docking station and you can have things like foot switches which we'll release and uh, MIDI control as well as uh, remote control from infrared to control the iPod or the iPhone separately. It's not only for iPod and iPhones, you can also connect uh, other line-in level inputs like MP3 players or telephones even that have an output that you want to control and uh, play back your MP3s that way and then you can still use all the facilities that I've just mentioned on it. It's in a sturdy metal device, it can be powered from phantom power as, but if you want to recharge the unit, you must run it with the DC power supply, which is included with the system. And uh, these uh, have a retail price of about 179